The criminal court proceedings temporarily on hold for the man accused in a series of stabbings in Davis. Today, a judge ordered Carlos Dominguez get a psychiatric evaluation. That's because Dominguez's own attorney said he doesn't think his client is mentally competent to stand trial. Thanks for joining us on this Monday. I'm Lisa Gonzalez. And I'm Ty Steele. Dominguez and his attorney did not seem to be on the same page today, though. KCRA 3's Lizzie Mitri was in court. Lizzie Dominguez actually tried to speak several times throughout the hearing, right? Hi, yes, that's exactly right. The hearing here inside the Yolo County Superior Courthouse lasted about 10 minutes. And in that time, 21 year old Carlos Dominguez tried at least on four occasions to interject, eventually saying that he didn't want an attorney, suggesting that he wanted to represent himself instead. The former UC Davis student Carlos Dominguez walked into the courtroom in shackles and handcuffs this morning as family and friends of his alleged victims watched. His charges include two counts of murder for the April stabbings of Davis resident David Bro and 20 year old UC Davis student Karim Abu Najam. And he's charged with attempted murder accused of attacking Kimberly Guillory, the sole survivor on May 1st. In court today, Dominguez's defense attorney requested that his client get a psychiatric evaluation to to determine if he's mentally fit to, for a criminal trial. A judge granted that request and scheduled a hearing for June 20th to discuss the results of that upcoming mental health evaluation and to decide if this case can go to trial. But as today's hearing wrapped up, Dominguez spoke up. All right, folks, that's it. Thank you. Oh, Hold on. Mr. Hudson, your client has a, a, a Fifth Amendment right. Uh, criminal proceedings have been suspended, so I'm going to let you handle communications with your client for now. Thank you. Off the record. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I don't want an attorney. I would like to take it from myself if possible. Thank you, Mr. Robinson. Dominguez was just escorted out and his request fell on deaf ears because at this point the criminal proceedings are on pause until that competency hearing happens. So his representation is not a matter up for discussion at this point. Now after that hearing outside the courthouse here we spoke to a friend of one of his alleged uh, victims, the first person killed in the series of stabbings and this was her first time coming to court and seeing her friend's alleged killer in person. And you might be surprised to hear what, uh, how she described that experience today. That's coming up on KCRA 3 News at 6. Reporting live here in Woodland, Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News. All right, Lizay, we'll see you later this evening. Meantime, Dominguez is expected to be back in court before his competency hearing for a separate hearing to discuss access to some of his medical records. That's in two weeks at the Yolo County Superior Court.